Yo, what is going on, everyone? We are here live, live in full effect. How's everyone doing today? Great weekend, great way to start the weekend, I would say. Happy Friday to everyone that's tuning in. Lando will be here in a little bit, but I just wanted to chat with you guys for, before we get started. Mock Draft Simulator 2024. This is our first mock draft of the year. Probably be our only one. Um, uh, but we, I think we're going to do like different variations of mock drafts to see who we get or who we land potentially. But appreciate you guys for tuning in. I see you guys rolling in now. Shout out to everybody for rolling in. Appreciate you on each platform. Be sure to follow us on each platform as well. YouTube, Twitter, Apple, all that good stuff. Spotify, you, you name it. We're, we're everywhere. So appreciate you guys for tuning in. Shout out to everybody rolling in. Uh, how we doing today? How we doing? How we living? How we feeling? Hope we feeling good. Hope you feeling good. How was your guys' week? Hope you guys had a good week. Um, hopefully it wasn't too hard, too crazy. Hopefully it was peaceful. Hope we had a peaceful weekend. The NFL draft is right around the corner. I feel like once we blink, the draft will be here. I know you guys are excited. I'm super excited. Super excited for this draft to see who we get, who the Colts get. Uh, what could potentially happen? Can the Colts trade their pick? Uh, yeah, this just started. You didn't miss anything. This just started. This literally just started like a few, like a minute ago, I would say. Appreciate you for rolling in, Alex. Shout out to Alex. But like I said, the Colts are in a pretty good position to pretty much do whatever they want. The favor is on their side. It's just to see what they're going to do. Um, but yeah, we're, we're sitting at 15 right now. Um, so this should be an exciting year. For the Colts offseason-wise, who they're going to draft. Which, there's so much talent out there to, to go get. Um, this is a pretty deep class. Uh, I think it's deeper than last year for sure. Um, so it should be interesting to see what they do. I'm looking forward to, to it. I don't know about you guys, but this draft just year is in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. The Detroit Lions had a pretty good year. Hopefully to see what they do. It's just, it's, they're still building as well. But the Colts, like I said, all the cards are on, a, on their deck. Um, so we should see... How it's going to pan out for them, like I said, if they're going to trade the pick or not. So it should be interesting. And Landon is now here. Let's go ahead and drag him in. Landon, how we doing? What is up, everybody? I'm doing great. How are you doing, man? I'm good. Happy Friday. You know, blessed oh, to be yeah. here another day. Another opportunity to go out there and grind and do what we got to do. That's right. Let's go. So I know you're super excited. You did a mock draft earlier already on your, on the podcast. You can go ahead and shout it out. Uh, if they haven't watched it yet, I'm pretty sure. But you did get a lot of engagements uh, on your mock draft, which was it was kind of wild. But I was like, dang, do they know what a mock draft mean or what? Uh, apparently not. It is it is fact. It is yeah, exactly what is going to happen um, as we have laid it out, you know, on the mock draft. That is exactly how it is going to go. So, yeah, it, it had people riled up for sure. Um, which, of course, naturally, a lot of the comments, you know, didn't actually watch the video. So, mm -hmm. like, they missed a lot of context. Right. Um, so, yeah, any, anytime you can, you know, spout off, you know, insults without actually consuming the content. That's what the Internet's for. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. Um, I'm sure we'll, get some, sure we'll get some fun comments to this one as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we will. But um, that, that was a crazy day. But let's go ahead and. Pull up the mock draft. I did find the mock draft simulator while you were uh, getting your PC updated. Uh, I did, uh, I think it was Pro Football Focus. Not Focus, but Pro Football Network, sorry. They got a mock draft simulator. So, Yeah. Even had our boy Mike out here throwing shade at me. Like, Yeah, what? that was crazy. What's, I was just like, does he know? What's up? I was like, does he know that it's you? or Come on, man. Does it even matter? I was just like, that's crazy. Brutal. Brutal. I was just watching it from the outside. I was just like, well, I'm gonna let them do them and I'm gonna do me. Yeah, this this is gonna be more like a more like realistic, you know, mm -hmm. you know, type of thing. Like you know. All right, so yeah. here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put it on slow speed, seven rounds. We're gonna select the Colts here. So we're gonna do diff three different variations. Uh we're gonna do one if they trade. If they don't trade, and then one that can be the most realistic if this was to happen. So the first one we're going to do is if they don't trade the 15th pick. Sounds good? Sounds great. All right. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Let's go ahead to it. Uh, go ahead and drop your comments on who the Colts should pick with the 15th pick if you are in the comment section right now. Um, 
let us know who should have picked. Uh, if you're not a Colts fan, let us know who you want your team to draft as well as we proceed to go on. Let's go ahead and hop into it. 15th pick, as you can see, the Bears select Caleb Williams at number one, Drake May at number two. And then at number three is Jaden Daniels. That's interesting. Number four is Marvin Harrison Jr., of course. Five is Rome Adunze. I know a lot of people have Rome over Marvin Harrison. Uh, what's your thoughts on the wide receiver class? Who do you think is the best receiver? I mean, it's, it's Marvin Harrison Jr. <laughs> I mean, we've this is something we talked about the other night as well. It's like we've we've hit like the prospect fatigue, you know, mm -hmm. when it comes to Marvin Harrison Jr., where like he's just been so good for so long that people now are you know and he you know he didn't do any workouts he didn't do any pro days so like people now are just kind of bored so now they they sit and they talk about you know all the flaws in his game which mm. there really aren't any but they try right. to just make up and you know for engagement purposes they have this guy over him and this guy over him and stuff but no i mean nothing's changed he's been the best receiver in college football for two years he's day one he's a wide receiver one you know basically a top 10 easily a top 10 talent and more than likely he's gonna end up as a top 10 receiver the moment he steps on the field he's that good um Amen. And, and so to me like even with like Caleb Williams and Drake May and the quarterbacks like he's to me he's the best player in this class like he's the number one rated player in this entire class I agree but as you can see from here the the Falcons made a trade uh with the Raiders the Raiders received the eighth pick and the Falcons traded the 13th and the 44th pick um and they traded with the Raiders to get and the Raiders got JJ McCarthy what was your thoughts on that yeah, I mean that's that seems to be kind of where about they are at. Um, I think they're one of the more probable teams to trade up for, mm -hmm. you know, the the quarterback position. Whether it's maybe New England drops back, or maybe you know, like you said, Atlanta or the Chargers, one of those teams drops back. Um, you know, I think that's a team to me that that's really what they're lo they're looking for their franchise quarterback. They're looking for that future. And if, you know, one of those guys, the top three guys happens to drop or J.J. McCarthy sent in there, that's a very viable, you know, move for that team to make. Right. Yeah, that was crazy. Because right now, I mean, they're rolling out, you know, Gardner Minshew. Like, that's <laughs> Gardner Minshew or – Rich um, quarterback. Yeah. Or, you know, they just signed him, so. Yeah, so let's go ahead and keep it moving. I see Terry and Arnold got picked up out of Falcons since they uh, fell back a few big – a few picks. Uh, they got Arnold moving forward. Let's see. We got uh, Ladu goes to the Vikings. We got Bowers goes to the Broncos. Brian Thomas Jr. to the Jets. Ugh. Oh my gosh. The Buccaneers traded. And then we got phone calls. <laughs> we got interesting. Phone calls. Interesting. Interesting. So we got phone calls. We got Jacksonville calling us. We got the Saints calling us. I mean, which, would you do any of these at this point since Bowers is gone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, easily. I, I mean, I'd, I would easily do Jacksonville's. I was about to say Jacksonville, right? Because they got the closest picks. They got 17 and 48. Yeah, and then what's so, uh, what's the other one here? The other one is the Saints is 26 and 45. I mean, to me, that might – that might be the move right there, honestly. Um, I know we're not doing, you know, trades on, on this mock draft. Yeah. We'll be doing – We'll come back on, to on, it. Yeah, on the next one. But, yeah, I think both of those are viable offers for sure. Um, I think that's honestly the likely scenario. Like we've seen the the rumor mill with the Colts bringing in Malik Neighbors and, mm -hmm. you know, them – Having him in for a 30 visit, you know, we've seen the rumor mill. It's like, oh, man, like Chris Ballard is going to trade up. Like, this is the year. Like, have y'all not learned yet? Like, have you not watched this man operate? Like, they <laughs> – it's just – that the more viable path are, is more than likely the Colts trading down. Um, right. I agree 100%. So, for this one, we're going to reject both trades. But we are still in a good spot. We got Dallas Turner. We got Mitchell. We got um, – who else we got? Well, I mean, Xavier, Xavier Worthy's still out there. Yeah, we still got Worthy. Cooper DeGene, Nate Wiggins. Cooper in there. Got Kool-Aid still. Got I'm a fan Mitchell. of Kool-Aid. Yep, Worthy. 
Got Coleman still in there. I know a few people are down on Coleman. Uh, like, ooh, TJ like Tampa like still in there and Lat McConkey. Yeah, I mean Darius Robinson is up there as well. So. Yeah, this is a man. Xavier still in there. Yeah, see, this is where I kind of you would, see you would trade like, back, right? Where the Colts are going to trade back? I mean, Byron Murphy, you know, mm-hmm. sitting there as well. I know this. You know, the world would burn if he took a defensive tackle in the first round, but I mean, that, those guys are at a, at a premium right now. DeForest Buckner going into the last year of his deal. We've seen mm-hmm. that market explode to where these guys are making, you know, $25 million a year, um, you know, for a defensive tackle. That's just, that's elite pass rusher <laughs> right. money. So. Absolutely. Uh, I think we're going to be doing all the rounds. Uh Seven. Dallas Turner would be a huge upset. Best available, but our secretary needs help. So in this one, we gotta go with we gotta go with Turner, right? I'm not quite sure. I, I don't I don't think so. Um as much as I like Dallas Turner and you know his athleticism, what he brings to the table, I know like that's like the big name, you know, guy that, that Colts fans are really on, but I really do believe that that now, are we doing what we would do, or do we do – are we – like this time uh, – The last one's going to be the most realistic one, but okay. this one is what we would do. What we would do – yeah, if it if it was me, I mean, that's tough. That's yeah. tough. Because Quinion Mitchell's <laughs> on the board, man. And, right. And I just think – so. I think he's a top 10 player in this class. Um, I know it says 16 on there, but mm-hmm. um, I just think day one that guy's going to – come in and be like your number one cornerback. Yeah, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with taking him this early because he's still one of the best corners in the I, draft. I, I mean, so. there's a good chance he's not even right. available. Exactly. I mean, like, he's there's a good chance Quinion Mitchell's already gone at 15. Mm-hmm. So, um, what Arnold I would do, took him before him. I mean, I, I feel a lot more comfortable with our defensive line than I do with our secondary. <laughs> so, um, I mean, if it was me, I would probably take take Mitchell there. I'd but, take Mitchell. But Turner would be – he would be tough to turn down because I, I do like Dallas Turner. Like, he's not my – he was, you know, going into the process, you know, my edge one, and I had Latu as my edge two. Mm-hmm. But now that the medicals have come back from the combine on Latu and everything looks really good, um, I, I just think that Latu to me is my number one edge guy. Um, that if I was going to draft that guy in the first round, it would probably be them. And um, I mean, I like Jared Verse a lot. Well, Dallas Turner, like really kind of the only downside to him is I think early on, because he is, you know, really athletic and, um, you know, he's got the length and the speed and the, and the burst, but um, I think he could struggle on early downs. So I think mm-hmm. going in, he would be more of like a rotational type of guy in his first year or so. Um and so I just, uh, you know. Yeah, see, down and down basis, yeah. Yeah, see, he's not quite as refined. He like he's He's got the traits and the tools, especially because the Colts really draft for traits. Um, but he just, he, ha- he hasn't put it all together yet. But, the, I mean, the path is there for him to be an absolute, you know, absolute stud. But then, I mean, you look at Mitchell and, you know, not only – does Mitchell have, you know, the high RAS score, which we all know what that means. But, I mean, he's great in zone. He's great in um, – I mean, yeah, like, I mean, they are, I they are kind of similar. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, Mitchell's – to me, he's just exactly, you know, that type of guy that you can put in the secondary – and I'm immediately feeling much better with the outlook of the team. And, like, the fact that the Colts have addressed the defensive line in free agency, you know, they addressed that defensive tackle position with Raquan Davis. They feel good about, you know, bringing back Tyquan Lewis, um, you know, Dio another year, Quiddy another year. This is really the year for Quiddy. Um, I feel a lot more comfortable because they made virtually no additions to the secondary. Um, and right now they're relying on a seventh round pick and a guy coming off an Achilles tear. And I don't feel comfortable with that. So if it was me, if I was the GM of the Colts, 
in all honesty, I would probably trade back here, but if we're sticking here, I'm probably taking Quinion Mitchell. Okay. Let's do that then. We're gonna we're gonna go with Mitchell this time. This, this this time around. We're gonna give some more variations, guys. So don't go out here freaking out. So this draft and this mock draft, we're yeah, gonna man, take if, if people first. are freaking out about drafting Quinion Mitchell, I mean like what like what are we doing? Like, Look, Seattle got Turner right after that. Yeah, I mean, what are we doing? If you're freaking out about drafting Quinion Mitchell in the first round, and you need a you need a stiff drink and right. relax. Cooper DeJean to Miami, Nate Wiggins to Philly, Bo Nix to Minnesota, Dallas getting. Oh, they got Graham Barton. Okay. Say gas. Chop Robinson to the Packers. Ooh, Kool Aid to the Saints. I like that one. DJ Tampa to the Cardinals. Also, if this was me, this would kind of be the area like Detroit right here. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I was going to do right there. Get I was going to say ready. this would be the area where I would kind of look to maybe trade up with Detroit for a guy like Worthy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but since we're not doing the trades right here, and I'm not the GM of the Colt. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are. We 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 don't know the. I mean, nobody really knows the difficulties it is of processes like these situations. And it's so they have a lot more. They have a lot more information at their disposal. And a lot more guys, too. Yeah. <laughs> they got a scout for each every department. Yeah, than, than we do. So Max Milton to the Panthers. Darius Robinson to the Titans. Mm. Ooh, Phoenix to the Broncos. Okay. Johnny Newton to Green Bay. I like that one. All right, here we go. We up again at 46. Got Buffalo calling. And that's it. Buffalo the only team calling. Well, we're going to reject it, you know. Yep, we're going we, we're to reject this one. So this is who's left. We got Ladd. We got a Donnie Mitchell. Uh, Jalen Polk's there. Yeah, we got Polk here. Ben Snow. We got Malachi. Braden Fisk is there. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we know what he did at the Combine. Oh, there, there you go. Awesome. Roman, Roman Wilson. Wilson. Ricky. I know a lot of Ricky fans out there. Donnie a lot. So, yeah, if this one, uh, see, we're getting too far. Getting too far down here for me. <laughs> <laughs> we're going um, offense this pick, right? Yeah, well, I mean, really, you don't even have to click on offense. You could have just stayed right where we were. Um to me, at this point in the draft, I know like there's some questions on AD Mitchell. You know the the work ethic, and mm-hmm. uh, apparently, you know he had a lot going on in his situation. Um, you know as well, but he's another guy. I mean, height, weight, speed, Six decent two. route. Yeah, I mean, decent route runner. Um, you know, it's to me this would be the guy that that they could use. Um, that if you can have Shane Steich in and you can kind of reel in some of the uh, the mental lapses to his game, you know, the effort and all that kind of stuff, if you can get that out of him and help Reggie Wayne just kind of tweak a few things with him, then, you know, he's got the size and the speed and the experience to to where he can, he can make an impact, you know, really early on on this team. And um, I think he just gives them another – Really good toy to play with, so yeah, that's that's where I would go. I'm curious to you see. Going AD, you, yeah, I'm curious to see what you're thinking. Uh, definitely receiver. Um, I like Lab McConkey. Um, definitely, definitely a fan of Lab McConkey just because how dominant he was, especially in his final runs, and how good that he was on that team. I, I would be like a, I see a chat saying AD or a Lad. You can't go wrong with either or, especially because of the coaching the scheme we got. With a QB, I think you can pretty much put anybody in that place. It's pretty much so. Uh, what are you going to take over Alec Pierce? Of course, we still got oh, everybody still questioning Alec Pierce production going on, uh, moving forward into next season. But I think we just need another guy because we're going to have weapons. So I think you can't go wrong with either receiver, either AD or Lad. But if it was me, I would pick Lad. Yeah, I mean, I could see. I definitely see a path for Ladd McConkey to be a really good receiver. I just think, you know, what his strengths are, Mm -hmm. I think we kind of already have those type of guys on this roster. You know, Pittman, more of a possession, you know, 
yards after catch guy, Josh Downs there in the slot. And I think he can work outside as well some. But, you know, he's that guy that just, you know, can really get open quick and, you know, good route runner, yards after catch. I think Lad McConkey is very similar to to that kind of a mold of a guy that, you know, smooth route runner, works the middle of the field, mm-hmm. gets open. And I think this deep or I think the offense, just what they really lack is that that deep ball threat, that guy that consistently gets open um, deep, but can also give you more of like that intermediate production, which is kind of where like Alec Pierce really struggles is, right. you know, not only with getting open consistently on the deep ball, but you're only going to throw one or two of those maybe a week. Like, so, I mean, what are you doing the rest of the time? Right. Um, and so you're going to have to be able to work that intermediate you know, area, the short, you know, short area, short route running. Um, and I think A.D. Mitchell just kind of fits what this team doesn't have, where I think McConkie mm-hmm. plays a similar role to a guy like, you know, Downs or um, or Pittman. Right. And then, of course, you also have the, you know, height, weight, speed. Yeah. You know, I mean. <laughs> yeah, 5'11", right? Yeah. Mm. So I mean I I'm cool with whichever one you want to go to. This is you know I made the Quinion Mitchell pick, so this one's yeah. But you know we got Josh, team. we got Josh Downs, man. So you know when you when you put height on that offense, I think it'll probably help. I'm not taking away from Downs, so we probably yeah, wanna, we probably want to go AD here. Yeah, I mean we already drafted one Mitchell, so <laughs> you know <but> I, <laughs> that let's, is just double, let's just double up <laughs> Mitchell Mitchell. So we're going we're gonna to take Mitchell with this pick here. Um, of course, we're going to do another simulator, guys, for people that's just rolling in. Uh, for guys, for everyone that's just rolling in, we drafted Mitchell and Mitchell. And, and Mitchell. So yeah. to, both Mitchells in this draft, as so far, if you guys are just rolling in, appreciate you guys. Lab McConkey wind up going to the Steelers. It's not that bad. Adrian Cooper to the Eagles. Hmm. Ricky Parcell to the Texans. Man, yeah, I don't early. think the Texans need more wide receivers. Right. I don't think they need more weapons. They're pretty much loaded. Goodness. Jonathan Brooks early. The okay. Texans. Went to Green Bay. That's a good pick. <laughs> I, I would not like that. Rook to the Lions. Ravens. Who are they getting? Okay. Braylon Trice from Washington. That's a typical Ravens pick right there. Right. Man, it just got Rocky saying, why are they getting Kamari? Jalen McMillan to the Panthers. Yeah. Okay. Some good players. Brady Fist to the Patriots. Okay. That's a Patriots pick. Okay. Long or a sleeper. Chris Jenkins to the Giants. Ronaldo Green to the Lions. He's got a lot of picks. Roman Wilson to the Falcons. And they wind up getting jo- Junior Colson after that. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. to the Washington Commanders. I'm old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot of trades right here. Look at that. Seahawks mm-hmm. traded. The Packers won the trade. Yeah, and see, this okay. is kind of where the draft to me like really kind of falls off. I don't, like, I don't think I think early day two is pretty decent, but like, Mm -hmm. you know, getting into like round three and day three and and all that, I think that's really kind of where the fall off is in this Mm -hmm. draft. I think the talent is really in, you know, the first 30, 45 guys um, in in this draft. So, hey, um, it's Blake Corum. It's Blake Corum. All right. So here we are here. Seahawks traded. Oh, they traded one pick back. And just traded with the Rams. And then the Texans got back-to-back picks from earlier. All right, so the Colts is here. Of course, we're looking at safety now, right? Safety at this point. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's possible. This is kind of an area. I, I mean, I would probably look on defense for sure, mm-hmm. whether it was – um, you know, along the defensive line or at, at the safety spot. Um, you know, you could even 
possibly look at linebacker, but I, I think that's more of a a day later, three later type. Pick. Yeah, you know, Ballard good with those. But, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I don't worry too much about. He's still waiting on Titus Leo too. That's true. Well, he's more of an edge guy. Yeah. So, um, it, it's it's really just whichever you like, edge or safety. Um, I it would I'll be kind of go safety, honestly. Mm. Spencer Rattler's still there. We're gonna pray for him. See, Jaden Hicks is still there, but I think he more um more fits that you know strong safety type. I think they really need a a free safety, like a, a ball range, you know, a rangy type of dude would be kind of where I would go. Gary Jackson's still in there. Bucky's still there. Yeah, you've seen Bucky, right? Hicks is the best safety available. Let's just send to safeties if we were checking the safety. So, safeties. We got Hicks. Tyke Smith. I think... Um, Dr. I think to me, like a guy like Cameron Kitchens, if he's mm-hmm. available. Um which I, I don't see his name. Hey, so, yeah, I see I his name. so he would be a guy that usually kind of goes in this area that I, that I like. This is not like a really great safety class. Um, right. So you think we should go edge instead of safety since it's not that great of picks left? Yeah. I mean, like I said, Jaden Hicks would probably be my next best safety, but he mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily fit kind of what they're looking for. Like he's very, very similar player to like a Nick Cross uh, type of guy. Right. Where uh, I think that they need somebody to replace, you know, the role that Rodney Thomas plays. Mm-hmm. And that guy is just, you know, not there right now. Um, you know, Cole Bishop or Cole Bishop, I think he's decent. Another – Utah safety to pair. I know, right? We're about to have a whole <laughs> Utah backfield. Um, but let's let's take a look at the edge rushers here yes. and uh, and see what we have here. Um, okay, David Thomas is there. Yeah, I also like uh, J. Alex Hunt. Mm-hmm. Houston Christian. If you got a small school, you have a high chance of being selected by ballot. I'm just saying that. That is that is very Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, okay, got Mouse Cole here. Well, let's uh, I mean, let's even look at the defensive tackle. Um, Jonah Ellis is a dog. Who's in corner? Uh, Sean Harris is laughing. Hey, don't laugh at me. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't miss it. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so we got Tavache Sweat here, uh, McKinley Jackson. Yeah, I think with his recent issues, I think they probably probably take him off the board. Um, mm-hmm. Mason Smith there, yeah, Wingo there, could be a really really good pick, and um, you know, I'm kind of biased when it comes to LSU. So any LSU guy on the board, if available, please do so. Tyler Davis. Uh, we got Justin. Let's get some help for our secondary. Stroud's going to pick us apart by himself. Hey, no matter how much Stroud did last season, we still had chances of beating him. I know Landon don't like the if word, but, you know, it was a close game. It was a close game. I do. Uh, the only problem I, I have is the whole, like, if they converted that fourth down, we would have mm-hmm. won the game. Like that's uh, that's the, that's the issue I have is that I feel like the first play of the game was really, really setting the tone when he got miscommunication on that burnt toast route straight down the middle of the field. Stroud just well, I mean, launching like it. it. Like if people think of it, I mean, like if they converted it, what they're at the twenty-one yard line. Like it's mm-hmm. not like they're at the one yard line where they convert it, they score a touchdown. You know. It's you know they still had to go they still had to go twenty yards down the field. There's a lot that could have happened there. It's not just some guarantee that they convert that fourth down and they're going to win the ball game. Like there's right. there's a lot of projection going on there. 
Um, hey, Chromos in here, James Madison. And we did uh, we did select Quinion Mitchell in the first. Yes, round. So we, we did. We, we did get we some did. secondary help. We we, we helped the secondary team. earlier, guys, with the, say, with the uh, Mitchell pick. I say let's go back to edge. Let's look at All it. Right. Let's look at an edge here. Um, so we got Hunt. I think I think, Jonah I think, Ellis. I think Jonah Ellis to me. That's another Utah guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you know he's a guy that he's a little light. Um, mm-hmm. You know, so his play strength isn't there, but if you look at you know his explosion and his athletic profile, he's that guy that um, could come in and develop and and be, you know, at least this year, be kind of like a third down, you know, NASCAR type package dude, and mm-hmm. um, you know, develop. You know, once he gets that play strength up, I I think he has a chance to be a starter with his athletic profile. Um, like I said, I also like J. Alex Hunt as well. He's another really athletic guy out of Houston Christian. You know, his athletic profile is is pretty nuts to look at. So, mm-hmm. so Ellis uh, or Hunt? We could do we could do Hunt since he since he's from Houston Christian. That's true. That's a valid yeah, pick. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a that's, that's a valid true. pick. Yeah, and he All he right. is a more dynamic athlete than than Ellis is as well. Yes. So. So, so for this draft pick, we're gonna go, we're gonna go edge here. We're gonna select uh, J. Alex Hunt. Shout out to Houston Christian. We know Ballot likes those schools. So we're gonna go edge rush here, and now we're gonna move on to the draft. We got three more picks. Braylon Allen. That yeah, he went to see. Jets. I'd love to see Braylon Allen with Jonathan Taylor in this backfield. Shout that, out to Wisconsin, right? That would be fun. Two Wisconsin running backs. Bucky Irvin to the Cowboys. Mm, I don't know about that one. Who the Ravens I mean, getting? Andrew Phillips is a is a good one. Johnny Wilson. Johnny Wilson. Stadium. Okay, LSU off the board. Austin Booker to Kansas uh from Kansas to Kansas City. That's kind of crazy. Will Shipley to the Bengals. Ooh, I like that. How about my boy, Joe Barrow? Josh Newton to Commanders. Tavion Sanders, Jalen Ford. Spencer Rattler to the Patriots is crazy. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, Hicks to Cardinals. Okay. And his DNA, yeah. It is what it is. You know, it's getting close to draft season. Well, it is getting close to the draft, so, you know, speculations are just coming out of the gates. Oh, Jermaine Burton to the Chargers. Uh, let's see. He's another Jermaine guy that's got, got, you know, really talented guy, but kind of got some off-the-field question. Kyrie yeah. Jackson. Kyrie Jackson to the Jaguars. Right before we pick. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, here I think we should just do all. Um, I, this is would be a would be a place to where like I wouldn't want to like pigeonhole myself into like, like still one, one certain spot. Um, right. So, like I said, whenever you get whenever you get down to like this, this would have been one of these. This Malik is one Mustafa of these. This in is in the draft where like you kind of just look for more like upside guys. Um, mm-hmm. You know, over the next three rounds, and there's not really a lot of great options, you know, as far as like production wise. But there are a lot of really athletic guys, um, you know, that can can come in and and contribute, you know, on special teams early, or maybe you take a high upside offensive lineman, um, you know, that you can throw in, kick them inside for depth because. 
you always need that. You know, I mean, we saw it last year. Um, even as you know, good as this offensive line was, Cam Hart's there. I was just about to say that. Yeah, you see, my yeah, mouth so went straight to his name. Yeah, so he's another guy that you could throw into the secondary there and continue to build that that depth. Um, Brendan Rice is another guy as well. So it's really, you know, really just more dependent on. I mean, Jaheim Bell. Um, he's a State. yeah. He he's a field stretching type of Colin Granson type of guy as well. So that that's the thing is like I really outside of secondary, maybe linebacker. You know, depth. There's really not much glaring weaknesses um, as far as like a glaring weakness where like a, a rookie is going to come in and make an impact, um, right. which that's the one good thing uh, about Ballard, you know, and, and re-signing all these guys is, you know, out, outside of secondary, there's not just some like massive weakness. Now, like were there upgrades to guys in free agency? I I, I think yes, but there's not enough of a glaring weakness to where like one of these guys is going to come in and just immediately be like, he's better than, than the guy that we had. Um, most of these guys at this point, you're just looking for depth and special teams. So, Go back up to the top. So we covered corner, wide receiving edge. We still need a linebacker, still need a safety, and another tight end. See, I don't think they need a tight end. Like I like if we're I think we're good with it. Yeah, if if we're not drafting Brock Bowers in the first round, like I I just don't see that as a position of in you know great importance. Um mm-hmm. You know, it's it's just one of those things. And I think wide receiver, I mean, to me, I think if you were looking on offense, you would continue to look either along the offensive line, I think in the running back room, or continue to build that wide receiver depth, um, yeah, you know, at this point. And there's there's some decent options here as well. I, I think Jalen Wright down there, I, you know, I – He's a player I like um, out of Tennessee. Uh, Brandon Coleman out of TCU could be a decent decent guy you could have come in. Um, Jamari Thrash, wide receiver. Ray Davis, Cam Hart. I really like Ray Davis. Like He's, he's a type of running back that I don't think they have on this roster. They're right down um, the road. Yeah, and – He's very much in like that Naheem Hines type of, you know, gadget guy that. Yeah, you we can definitely really, need one of those. Yeah, you can like deploy him in multiple ways. And, you know, I think he would be a good addition to that running back room because really losing, you know, Zach Moss <laughs> you know, outside of Jonathan Taylor. I mean. Still got my boy. Yeah. And I do like Evan Hole as well. Um, I like him. So I just, that room kind of seems a little thin. And I, like I said, I don't think there's anybody like Ray Davis on this roster. So if you were wanting to target offense, that would be, you know, the type of guy to me that, that I would want to have, you know, to kind of counter, counteract Taylor. See, I think there's Blake Coral. I think we have a guy. You know, we have Jonathan Taylor who's going to play that role. He's kind of old, too. Yeah, I just – I don't think he has the athletic profile, um, you know, to be to be that type. Yeah, I mean, Evan Hull, he – I mean, but do we? You know, coming off of the injury – Oh, Siri. But coming <laughs> off the injury, I mean, you just – you never know. Like, you yeah. never know. And – I do think, as much as I do like Evan Hole, especially as a pass protector, I think he's really good there. I think Ray Davis is more dynamic. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk about Kalen King there. Um, mm. 
I'm not necessarily sold on him. Would you? You would, you well, would go double kind of down in like, corner this draft? I mean, yeah. I, yeah. So would you I, go Cam Hart over Kevin King? I would go Cam. I, Hart. I would go Cam Hart here yeah. with, with these guys on the board. I would, I would take a shot on Cam Hart. Yeah. So, for now in this draft, let's double down in this draft. Let's go Cam Hart just in case. Yeah, and I mean, like worst case scenario, I mean he's he's going to play special teams and make an impact there. Mm-hmm. I know, no, I know in training camp and everything he's going to go crazy. So. Pretty sure, because I'll do anything to not get a Tony Brown. Back <laughs> put in those scenarios, if I had a chance to choose Cam Hart and Tony Brown Jr., I would choose Cam Hart. Yeah, so. I think they need. I think they need at least two DBs. Two corners, right? Well, Amen. I mean, corner or or safety, just two DBs in this draft class, at least. Like that's the minimum. Mm-hmm. So when we're looking at this this selection, I think either him. I do like Mustafa, so um, I guess we could, we'll, we'll double down corner in this selection. Let's double down corner. So we're going to take Cam Hart right here. You good with that? Yeah, I, I, I like the Tanner Bordellini um, guy as well. He's a guy that has, you know, center uh, going. Okay, Wisconsin. Yeah. 3 I think he could be a guy that could be on their radar here. But we're not doing what we think the Colts will do. We're doing what we want to do. What's best at least this time. At so, yes, yeah, this I time, yes. And we didn't trade back or anything yet either. So. Not yet. Yeah. So we're going to take Cam Hart here. Take it with a grain of salt. Whoever's seen this, watch this. Whoever's watching this right now, we're going to go again with another simulator. But this one we're taking Cam Hart. Um, I'll be right back. So... Hold the crowd hostage until I return. Hold I'll the, be yeah, here. You guys are you guys are stuck with me, unfortunately. Uh, that'd be all right. They like you, Landon. It's just uh, harsh not online. <laughs> <laughs> not on the internet. So, uh, you know, just curious, you guys in the chat. You know, since everybody's talking about this whole trade down, trade back type of stuff, um, what is your thoughts on, like, do you believe Chris Ballard kind of goes against everything he believes in and trades up to get, like, a Romo Dunze or, you know, maybe Malik Neighbors drops, Brock Bowers, maybe they trade up with Chicago there at number nine? Or do you think there's much more of a, you know, trade back scenario? Um, because I don't think they stick at 15. I don't think they're picking at pick 15. I think it's going to be one way or the other. My gut feeling, they're going to trade back. But I'm curious to see what you guys actually think about it. So let me know in the comments on uh, if you were GM, what would you do? I'm just curious. And see, I can't go through the mock draft simulator because Marcus has it held hostage. So... Right now, this is uh, this is where we're at. So I can't believe Jerry and Jones is still on the board here. Yeah, Anthony, Alex, I agree. I think there's a much more chance that they're probably going to trade back. <laughs> so looking here on the board, I mean, Jerry and Jones is there. I, I love Jerry and Jones. Like, I know we just picked Cam Hart. But like so, as me, I probably would have like taken Ray Davis there and then came back with Jerry and Jones here. Um, I would have been really excited about that. Um, Tyke Smith, um, Zach Zinter, there, uh, offensive guard in Michigan. Um, Jonah Ellis, another edge guy I was talking about earlier. Um, Yeah, I agree. Secondary help, um, which that's that's kind of where we're at. You know, we did. Um, you know, we've taken two corners in this draft already, so we've we've got that secondary help. I I would still like to get a safety. We'll have to look. You know, who's on the board, but um, Jonah Ellis, I like. Jerry and Jones, I like. 
Tyler Davis, defensive tackle out of Clemson. Zach Zinter, I, I like. Anytime, usually like Michigan offensive linemen end up being pretty good players. So uh, there's there's still some really good um really good players here on the board. So we'll let we'll let Marcus now that he's back. We'll let him go. I have returned. So you know, that's what I was telling them is Jerry and Jones is still on the board here. So like if it was me, like I would have really liked to get Ray Davis in the last round and then came back with Jerry and Jones here. Mm. And, uh, you know, cause I, do, I actually do kind of prefer him more to, um, what? to Cam Hart. We corn went to the Texans. Yeah. But see like Jonah Ellis is down there. I know we talked about him earlier. So, Hey, see, we didn't know this was going to happen first time. Around. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. You just, you never know. We got Hunt. Hmm. So we got Mitchell, Mitchell, Hunt, and Hart. Not bad. I would like this draft. If this if this was to happen, I still would be a fan of it. But now we are left with let's see, we still need a linebacker, safety, and what else would you want? Well, we got the Georgia safety there. Um mm -hmm. He's, you know, doesn't have the height, weight, speed. You know, he's he's kind of a smaller guy, very much like a Quandre Diggs, you know, type of guy. <laughs> it's funny. But, you know, didn't run super impressive. So, like, the athletic – like, to me, like, that's kind of where you're where you're looking at guys now that – Let's take out Oregon State here. Yeah. Yeah. But – um or I was telling them like Zach Zinter there at guard. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you, normally whenever you pick a uh, offensive lineman from Michigan or Wisconsin, <laughs> you're <laughs> you're generally getting a, a pretty good player. So to me, like that's that's probably the route that I would go. Um, where it would be yeah. guard. So. Yeah, I see. I see. Alex is saying the same thing. So we could go guard here. Not bad. It's round five. You know, that's still a decent time to pick a guard. Who else is here? Yeah. Okay, we got an Alabama boy still in here. Mm. Darius Henderson. Make our O-line very underrated. It's still underrated in my opinion. I don't think you guys give our offensive line enough credit than what it's supposed to get. I think our offensive line took a huge step up than what it was the year before. And nobody gives it credit. You guys just discredit mastermind Shane Steichen of what he did so far. Plus the offensive line, you know, going through this evolving door phase. Gus needs to boot up and change. <laughs> uh, I know I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I agree. Um, but I think... I think our guys, I think Gus puts our players in the positions to make a play. They just don't. We're, we got an athletic defense. I think we just have to step up. I think that's the part. I think that's what a lot of fans don't understand about the Gus Bradley scheme. It puts our players in positions to make a play. They just have to do so. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, you know how I feel about the scheme that yeah. Gus Bradley runs. I, I mm -hmm. We don't have Cam Chancellor. We don't have Richard Nick Sherman in his prime. <laughs> don't have Earl Thomas. Don't have yeah. Earl Thomas. So but, I mean, asking asking those guys to be that, you know, yeah. is you're putting it's guys a in a lot of bad positions. But like I said, I gave them credit last year because they did try to switch things up some, and mm -hmm. you know that that's always good. But um, yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I like the hire a lot. So. You know, at this point, to me, I don't know. Like, it's – I'm almost at the point, which, I mean, you know how I feel about this type of stuff. Like, I'm at the point. Like, I'm I'm tired of doing the projections or, you know, let's let these guys grow. Let's wait till next year. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to win now. Like, we need to win. Like, at some point, that has to matter. Like, the RAS scores and, you know – all the analytics and all that, like none of it matters 
if you're not winning football games. So, you know, whenever we're talking about like, well, we have this or this, or maybe this guy gets better, or maybe this guy, like, yeah, that's that's great. Like that's that's the hope, that's the plan is for these guys to continue to grow and get better. But we actually have to see it, you know, like it like it has to happen because you know, Quentin Nelson's not getting younger, DeForest Buckner's not getting younger, like all these guys that are mainstays, Ryan Kelly. Um, you know, Michael Pittman is about, you know, he's going to be 26, 27 years old this year. Just got paid, you know? Yeah. Just got, just got a big contract. Like, I mean, at, at some point, like these guys are, are going to continue to get older and their production is going to go down or, you know, they're going to leave in free agency. Like you have to, each year is a new year. So, I mean, you've got to, you got to win eventually. And so that's kind of where I'm at is like, I'm done with the whole like draft and develop and hope and pray. Like at some point it's got to be what matters out on the field. And and until that happens, that's just where I stand. So I respect that. I'm going to stand, you know me, I'm going to stand of being happy with where we landed last year. Of course we didn't win the division or anything, but we did win nine games and that's better than what happened the season before. So I am currently at, I'm currently at peace, but I would like us to be better, but I am at peace because I'm comparing last year to the year before, and I think it was a huge upgrade. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, they definitely got better last year. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, a you know, Anthony Richardson, of course. Yeah. That's, a big, <laughs> that's a big positive if he stays healthy. Amen, amen. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I always wonder is, like, when is – like at what point though does like winning matter? So like if this year the Colts don't go out, say Anthony Richardson plays all 17 games, mm-hmm. say they win eight or nine games and they miss the playoffs. This is going to be it, a tough like, year though. Cause... I mean, like is, is everybody still happy? Are we happy with where we are? Like, I mean, you know, like are we still getting on Twitter and talking about how we just well, need you know to that's going to happen it's cold it's the Colts fans you know the you process know Colts fans needs to play out you know no they're still even if even if we do have a winning season I feel like you're going to have Colts fans in your feedback still saying how dumb you are and all this other stuff Colts fans yeah. are never happy if, if they're so, if they're winning that's the only if they're thing winning, they're still that's never the happy like, about. That's oh we wanted the vision but we couldn't get to the championship game it's like ah, da, da, da. it's that's like the it's the only thing I care about right is, uh, it, is winning you know that's that's right you know and i'm, I'm so. done with the whole like we need to let's just let it play out let's let these let's guys let it play out. let's it's like no let's win football games that's, that's what we're here games. to do you know so. we get to this pick let's go zach zinter this pick let's I get agree. zach let's get zach shout out to michigan who's I washington think, getting Ooh, trey taylor he, I think he adds much needed. Of course, the Jaguars get Jerry and Jones. When the games were supposed to. Amen, Anthony. Amen. Dang. The Rams did have back to back picks. Jerry went to the Bengals. Yee. I like what the Bengals is doing. I ain't going to lie. Bengals been having some good picks. Hmm. Okay, Kansas. Nike to the Buffalo Bills. Ooh, the Eagles, they stole who I wanted. Lions got Joan. Hey, Ellis is finally off the board. Baltimore just they <laughs> stacking up, man. They stacking. This is definitely a Baltimore draft. I ain't gonna lie. Elijah. Ooh. So the Saints got Isaiah Davis, and then they got Xavier Thompson. Eagles got back-to-back picks. Miles Cole went to Kansas City. Mm. Okay. Evan Williams, okay. Miles Harden. Okay, okay, Seattle. I see. Garrett Greenfield. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, Falcons. I don't know. Vikings back to back. Okay, they double down offense. Okay, double down on the line. I see. All right, and now we're up. Isaac Grindo. That speeder, speedster we need in the backfield now. We're happy when we win games when we're supposed to. All right, so we're up. Let's go to what we got. Mitchell, Mitchell, Hunt, Hart, center. Not bad. Not bad. So in this position, we did not get a running back yet. And we didn't get a linebacker yet. This could be a good time to get a linebacker. This could Take Milton to back up a rich <laughs> bro. We got Joe Flacco. We got championship yeah. background in the backfield, man. It's a backup. We got championship pedigree. All right, so let's. Milton let's will not see the field. Let's take a look at linebackers because Tommy Eichenberg is not a, a Colts linebacker. All right, so we got Notre Dame in here. Okay, so automatically, I know the guy they're gonna take. Like this is. Like, is it a, is it a is it a, a small school? No. Uh oh. No. 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 Setting at pick two oh two is like the the Chris. Mellon. Oh, okay. Edufwan. Edufwan. How do you say his last name? Ulo Fashio. Hey. Hey, that'd be a fire jersey sale. Yeah, and so you look. I mean, classic. You know, right around six foot, long arms. A little bit undersized, but plays off ball, high RAS score, you know, really showed out at the combine. Mm -hmm. um, he can play a little bit of off ball, which I think is, you know, really kind of a type of guy they're lacking. You know, Zaire, of course, is more of like that downhill run stuffing, you know, tackle machine. I think EJ Speed can do a little bit of off ball stuff a little bit better, but they, they don't have that guy that can – roam the middle of the field and cover tight ends and, you know, that type of stuff. Kind of what we saw Shaq Leonard do. Mm -hmm. And I think with his with his profile, I think he he fits that role. Even with the guy we got late in the in the in the cycle from Alabama that switched from safety to linebacker. Yeah. I mean I I think because even if not, I mean with his profile as well, he's gonna be a special teams guy. And at this point, I mean you're getting in around six or seven like these are guys that like their their entire career on making this roster is going to depends on their ability to play special teams, mm -hmm. um, and so I think he could very much be like an EJ Speed Zaire Franklin type of linebacker. Okay, where he starts out on special teams, eventually works his way up, and then he's mm -hmm. making an impact on the field. So that to me would would be. My my choice here. I said we do need a linebacker, so I'm gonna go with you here, Edwin. You are Indianapolis Colt, so that's what we're gonna take right here. And then we got one more pick after that. With our line in the trenches with our linebackers. No, I didn't watch it yet. I've watched a few episodes of it. Yeah, uh, I've watched a few for sure. They do a good job. They're they're really funny. Yeah, I didn't watch the latest episode. I've seen a few, like the Ty and uh, Paris Jackson. Campbell. If we didn't already have an edge, Brennan Jackson. That's that's a guy to keep your name on. Mm -hmm. Vaki is another guy to keep your name on as well. Ahmed Kamara went to the Lions. They've taken like three edge rushers in this. <laughs> yeah. I, that's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, Zaire's podcast. Yeah, I've seen a few episodes like early on. Austin Reed. Mm, okay. I don't know Jacksonville. I don't know about that one. Okay. Okay. Carson Steele. Who the, Ra who the Ravens getting? <laughs> Nothing it's, to do it's, it's, it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
goodness. Okay, a lot of running backs are getting picked now. Jalen Green last pick. Maybe here's in one season. Plus, yeah, I mean, kickers don't, off the board. Don't don't count out Titus Leo as well. Right. He's got a really athletic, good profile as well, and unfortunately, the injury last year. Mm -hmm. That that's what was crazy about our draft class last year is we lost yeah, half, of them half was those guys. <laughs> the injury that's got to be like a whole other draft class coming in. Right. Um, safety. I mean, Daniel Scott in the safety room and on free agency as mm -hmm. well. You know. So. All right. Here we go. All right. Last so pick. We, let's just go to all. Let's see what we got here. Who's on the board? Yo, huh? Milton. And Milton's still there. <laughs> AJ Barner. I mean, we've drafted what two, three secondary guys, an edge rusher, yes, a offensive lineman, a so wide we'll receiver. Probably go what running back or tight end here. I wouldn't go tight end, but I, I mean running back or you know running back or another defensive lineman. Or I mean you could. I mean you could take Joe Milton. I mean. You, <laughs> I mean, you could in the seventh round. Bye, right? Sam Ellinger. Yeah, I mean. It's a sign Milton is a cult. Oh, my goodness. I mean, with, with his, his pro, I don't, I'm not personally a fan, but I mean, I could see him just, just even just to have him to keep him off of um, other yes, teams' so. practice squads <laughs> so yes, they can't so. prepare for, for Richardson's. <laughs> um, which I think even with him, they, they couldn't really do. Um, Rasheen Ali. I ain't gonna lie. It's getting smelly the, the longer I scroll. <laughs> Convert him to tight end. All right, Steven, have a good night. <laughs> Uh, we have another Milton, Kendall Milton. Just for Zach Hicks, we're going to draft a, a punter. <laughs> <laughs> eh. uh, we're probably going to go Milton here, right? I mean, take Let's a shot. Use. Take a shot. Unless you see somebody, because I don't. Now you're gonna have to go back up. <laughs> yeah, because you're just, in the undrafted free agent territory. Yeah, it's like here. um practice squad worthy. Yeah, screw it. Take Milton. This is what we would do. So yes, a hundred percent. You like having two ARs? No, there's only one. <laughs> only, only one, one. AR. Don't you dare disrespect the number one. You got AR and then like great value. <laughs> it's not even a Walmart brand. It's just great value. And by the way, let's go Pacers and beat the Cavs tonight. Maybe move up to the 15. Shout out to the Pacers. They've been playing good basketball all year. Shout out to Holly Burton. I know we don't usually talk basketball here, but shout out to the Pacers. They're in a good spot. Xavier Weezy would be a practice squad worthy. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna speed up the draft next round because this is too slow for my liking. Yeah, like, we'll really like only say. have. John Palmer. Al Walcott Jr. went to the Ravens. Eh, a punter is the last pick of the draft. Look at that. Brutal. Oh, they got NFL playoff predictor here. Mm. Save it? Yes. Okay, I saved it. So let's restart. We're going to speed up the process to fast because it took too long. And we're going to do the Colts. And this one, we're, we're trading back in this one, right? 
or up. We'll just we'll see what the board. Ooh. Yeah, we'll see. See what the board looks like. Yeah, so this is going to be the one where we don't uh, we predict what the Colts will do. We're already an hour in. All right. Oh my gosh. There you go. Okay, it's almost the same thing, but I don't think Illumia went early. Uh, Marvin Harrison went to the Chargers. That's what the difference was. See, I would I would slow it down now because we're gonna. Okay, let's restart it then. It went way too fast. I almost had a like I was like, wait, what? Yeah, because you're not gonna be able to see, you know, if we need if if we should trade up, like if Marvin Harrison's there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gosh. You never I was like, okay, let's give the let's give the Cardinals another chance because they was tripping. Drake May, of course. Of course. Marvin, right? Oh uh, excuse me? <laughs> well, do we need to do we need to call the Chargers right? <laughs> do we need to call the Chargers? Because they, they tripping. Do we need to call the Hello? Chargers? <laughs> What is it? What are the Cardinals doing? What, what this is the second time they got somebody that's not Marvin Harrison Jr. What is going on here? Are well, we are we making I, I a think, call? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is where it, it's gonna happen. Maybe Ursay interjects here and he's like, <laughs> "Do it, <laughs> do uh, do it." Now. Are we are we calling now? No, not yet. Not so yet. resume. Yeah, we got to be a little realistic with it. Okay. Ooh, neighbors to the Giants. They need a wide receiver too. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Let's see what fuck. So Ooh. this is where we need to start having the phone, phone calls because Turner just went off the board, mm-hmm. and Bowers look like he's about to go to the Jets. And so Romo Dunze is up there. Hey. Oh yeah, he is. And Holy. and Arnold's here too still, and Verse. So hold on. See, this is where we should have we should have done this last time with trades because the last time would have been what we would have done, and and I would probably make the move up for Odunze. But the if we're doing, um, we should doing a Starsky and Hutch. Yeah, I just read that too. Um, if we're doing what we think the Colts will do, I think we need to keep the draft going right now because okay. we know. So we're not trading up. We're not trading up. There's, Players are too good right now. Ballard's not oh. making that move. Well, well I'm pretty sure ba- Bauer's about to leave. Bauer's about to say goodbye. I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> McCarthy got traded, and the Jets moved down. Okay, so who goes next? Rome, right? Uh, maybe. Would they get Arnold? Arnold, maybe. Yeah, they Arnold, right? Mm-hmm. Cardinals oh. traded back up. Oh, Cardinals got Odunze and Joe Alt. What in the the Jets traded back? So they're getting Bowers. So who would the Broncos get? Arnold, right? I think Bowers goes here. The Jaguars traded up. Oh, I will have a heart attack. <laughs> Sheesh. The Jaguars traded up and got Arnold. Huh? Are we about to get Bowers? <laughs> Is Bowers about to fall to us? Oh no, Saints will take him right here. Please don't say that to me. <gasps> All right. So this is where we need to have the conversation. We we gotta take Bowers, right? So this is where we need to have the conversation on do we think the Colts because you I mean look at the board Latu, Bowers, Quinion Mitchell, Brian Thomas Jr., Xavier Worthy, all these guys are on the board still. Brian Thomas Jr. is here. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying is like, do we think the Colts stick here and run the card up for Brock Bowers? Or do we think they trade down, get more picks, and still try to get one of the guys that's on you know high on their board? Um, man, that's tough. 
personally for like i mean i mean if it's me this is an easy decision like i'm not even thinking about this but it's not me these are the, this is the cults we're talking about and as you know we love them picks and so is brock bowers enough yeah i mean we don't have to go through the we don't have to go through <laughs> we so let's let's look at the trade offers and see what we have on the board here. Are they good enough? So would move me, down five spots. That's not a bad option. Um, yeah, but who's there? Want, though? You know, let's let's see what the other ones are. We have three trade offers. Oh, God, another first round pick for Washington next year. Who are we getting like, next like year? Like Washington's probably going to be really bad. Like that could be a yeah. top five pick next year. Yeah, but who are we getting though? Well, you got pick 36 and pick 40. So you've got three picks there and a first rounder. Mm. Or you can, you know, use those picks to trade back up into the end of the first round if, like, Worthy's there, you know, somebody like that, and you have a first rounder next year as Mm. well. So what's the next offer? No, I'm not doing that. So really, so th- so this is the – so to me, it's between Washington or Brock Bowers. Um, we all anticipate Brock Bowers being a, a great player. But he's yeah. also – Washington is not going to be good next year. And they're offering a first-round pick and two high second-round picks. To move up to this spot. Man. I think if that offer is on the table. You're taking this? I think Chris Ballard takes that offer. Okay, so. All right. So we take this trade, right? Are we trading back up after we accept this trade? We'll just have to see. I mean, we'll just have to see, you know. Oh, God. We'll have to see. <laughs> this like. is why I cannot I mean, be the problem. <laughs> But yeah, I think that 2025 Washington first round pick. Yeah, like, that sounds good for sure. That's going to be very valuable because yes, I, I, I agree. Good. So I, because we're I, still banking on Richardson yes, to carry us this exactly. year. Exactly. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I, I take I take that offer. I think. The oh my gosh, we're starting to sound like them. <laughs> I, I was I like, yeah. So all right. So since we're trading back on this round, we're we're going to accept the Washington pick. Um. But we're going to see how the board falls, and if it gets too scary, we're going to trade up. Yep. Well, I mean, yeah, oh. we'll see. Let's see what it looks okay. like. So, okay. Let's see. I'm let's about to hit this set button. This might not happen again. I did the Doctor Strange scenario, and it's not looking favorable. Swing McLaurin. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. If that was to happen, I, I wouldn't have been on the screen if McLaurin was named was right here. I wouldn't have been on the screen. I would have hit accept before Landis finished talking. <laughs> I mean, that's he's already making too much money. You can't pay two wide receivers like that. <laughs> cool later, worthy, right. hopefully. Hit, hit accept. Come on. Yeah, I I I I I Oh. Oh. Ooh. So, right. we're, so we're still setting okay here. We still got Thomas and Worthy. We still got Thomas here. Okay. Uh, oh, ooh. We're still there. I don't see us. Oh. Oh, my God. So that two Tyree still Hill there. and Thomas is on the same field. We still got Worthy. So let's see what it would cost to trade up with the Eagles. Let's go to proposed trade. Okay. Let's go with Philadelphia. I'm just curious to see if they would do. They can't have this. Oh my gosh, we have two first. Let's see if they would do 36 and 117. What a 22nd for 22. I'm pretty sure they probably accept it, but this is what you would do, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. they okay, didn't. That's fine. Hey. So let's, let's keep going. Hey, I like these. I like these. 
you know, some some websites are just accepted randomly, no matter what I mean, you say. Probably would have taken eight. Like if we did like the the eighty second pick or something like that, they probably would have mm-hmm. taken. It. So we're gonna keep going. There's still too many good players on the board here. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. All right, so let's hit up Green Bay now. Okay. So let's do forty. 117 and a fourth round pick next year for 25. Let's see. Okay, so let's so, do. So stingy. Yeah, I, I figured that wasn't going to work, but I figured I would try. <laughs> so hit propose hey. trade again. Mm-hmm. Hit propose trade again. All right. With Green Bay, let's see if they would do 40 and 82 for 25. Yeah, it's much closer. Stingy. I'm not wanting to do it. All right. I'm I'm willing to send them four picks 36 Mm -hmm. and 82. They can have one of these late ones. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, let's do like the the sixth rounder there. This one. Yeah, and then let's counter back with two o two, with twenty five and two o two. Okay. Well, I mean, sometimes you can't make a trade. So. Well, let's hit up Minnesota. Minnesota's got Minnesota's got back to back picks here. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I'm about to cry. So let's do 36, 117, and 191 for 26. They got to do it right. No. All right. We don't have bounce. That's okay. So here, just hit resume. Let's see what happens. All right, so now pause it. Okay, because I feel like the Ravens are about to steal, or, or the Lions are about to steal somebody. So let's hit up Detroit. Let's do 40 and 82 for 29 and 164. All right. This is how I, do this. I imagine I Dallas send everything. Like trying uh-huh. to get get one over on people. Like this is how I imagine he operates. Like very stingy. Right. No. Okay. Fine. Right, let's hit Detroit up. Let's go. Thirty six and eighty two for twenty nine. I'm not liking these teams. I thought they were friendly. All Didn't right. they just meet at the uh, the meeting, at the owners' meeting? Well, it's fine. Let's look. It, it's not worth anything more than that. Like it's not right now. So let's see. Let's let's get the San Francisco and see what happens. That's why. That. <laughs> All right. So at this point. I'm I'm cool just waiting to 36. Okay. I'm going to trust you. Xavier Worthy would have been the guy that I would try to target there. Ooh, TJ Tampa's still here. Ooh, and Xavier's still here too. Tampa and Xavier is on my high board. Yeah. So let's let's keep the draft going. Here. Okay. We did trade back, so that's the, that's what we wanted to do anyway. But okay. we got a first round pick next year. <laughs> yes. Okay. We, we're looking good. AD is still here. Okay. Oh. Ooh. All right. So here we go. Okay. No, I'm not doing any more. Another trades. first round. <laughs> another first round pick. Absolutely not. This is the per- you. You were literally just you wanting to win. Winning four picks. You, you just want. You just talking picks. about winning. You're not winning this year if you're giving away all these picks. 
I mean, it's you're you're getting eighty one, one hundred two, a first and second round next year. Sir, we would and literally storm. We would storm. We would storm Lucas Oil Stadium if this, if we trade back twice. For I mean, Indianapolis I will be on fire. <laughs> you're gonna have three first round picks next year. Indianapolis <laughs> will be on round. fire. <laughs> If we do not get nobody, yeah, I, yeah, like I get that the fan base would be on fire, but I tell you what, if if that is offered to me for one pick, I'm Chris Ballard's gonna instantly say yes. They're picking again in four selections, and they still have another. They still have two second round picks in this draft. We didn't get anybody at fifteen. We traded down. They, we got they Washington's, got Washington's first next year, rounder, and they got yeah thirty six and forty. And a 2025 first rounder from Washington. So now you could go in with. I mean, what if Seattle? Like, I mean, that's three first round picks, two second round picks, and you're still, you know, picking. You get a third round pick in this draft as well. I, so they would, we would, they would, we would give out. them. They would, we take would give them out. our pick and pick at forty. Yes. No, I I just hit accept. Yes, I would because you're picking at forty. Right. Who would we get, though? And, I mean, if A.D. Mitchell's still there at 40, then you just got to, I mean, come on. So Xavier's there still. I don't think Xavier's it, going no time soon. Xavier, Xavier Worthy's already gone. The other one. Legit. Oh. So hit accept. <laughs> just, they're, they're taking that trade. Landon, if you say accept again, I'm going to hit no, you. No, not for these. <laughs> no. yeah, so it, it would have to – I mean, they threw in a first rounder. I mean, that's – so hit reject on these. We're taking A.D. Mitchell here. Okay. No TJ. No Max Milton. So we're taking A.D. here. Yep. Ooh, TJ's in Houston. Holy. You accept? Okay. Bo Nix? So we move down a spot and get a seventh pick. No. No? Reject? Yes. And you have Max Melton right there. You're you're getting... I mean, that's a good... We getting Max? I I would. I would. I'm. Let's see who else is here. Cameron Kitchens, Chris Braswell. Yeah, I would take Max Mountain right now. Because I think after, be after him, I think there there's kind of a fall off at that DB. I like Rook. Oh, uh, Xavier went to the Chiefs. Not bad. Brandon Fisk. Braden Fisk. To the Steelers. Yeah, so now, I mean, so you still got A.D. Mitchell. You still got Max mm-hmm. Melton. Mm-hmm. And now you're going into next season with three first-round picks and two second-round picks. And there's a good chance two of those first-round picks or teams that are not if, for not goofing around, team. Mitchell and Melton don't sound bad. Well, it's, it's Mitchell and Melton, goodness. two first round picks, two second round, and, and a second round pick. So, that's a, that's I a, have a tweet already ready for when I post one. these screenshots. <laughs> that's, that is one heck of a haul. I would say Landon almost gave Culture Shock a heart attack, but it might pay off in the long run. (laughs) 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 Oh, bye, Ricky. He just went at 74 to the Falcons. 
DJ James to Kansas City. Kansas City is actually moving in this draft. I ain't going to lie. The last one was a little iffy, but this one, they kind of moving. Ooh, Cole Bishop to the Falcons. Johnny Wilson to the Bengals. All right, so we got back-to-back -back picks here. Yeah, rejecting now, the... Now, especially the pick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not. All right, so let's see. Hey, Romy Wilson's still here. Javon uh, we got. I was saying we got Javon in here. I think we got a better safety option than last time. Let's see, Edge. Is is Miles Cole still there? I mean, he should be. I didn't see him go off. Yeah, he might yep. be under D tech. Yeah. yeah, he's right here. Yeah. I think it's still too early to pick him, but he's a. Still got Houston Christian on the board. All right, so let's go safety. Might go Javon, right? Let's see. What's his RAS? This is that's what matters. Eh. Eight two five. I like Javon Bullard here. Yeah. I say Hicks got a better or his. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking Hicks Javon got... as well because he's just a better option from what we got last time. Mm -hmm. so we can go Javon. And we got another pick right after, too. Exa yeah, exactly. So we're setting. Yeah. So we're going to go Javon here. Setting pretty good. Yes. And now we have another pick. All right. So let's look. No, New England. Leave me alone. <laughs> Block this number. <laughs> Block this number. Right. Stop calling me. So now let's go. Let's let's check the defensive tackle class here. Ooh. Chris Jenkins out of Michigan. That's Kelly a, Jackson's here. I think I like Chris Jenkins a lot. Yeah. Ooh, look at his RAS. Yeah. I I think he could be a guy. So I would take Chris Jenkins here. Yes. He was not here last time. No. The fact that he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Okay, Landon, I'm not. Uh, my heart's back at a normal rate now. And we got another one too. We got a we yeah. we got, we got another, another one. We got another pick coming up. Yeah. Yeah, we need a defensive tackle. What's wrong with you? Oh, okay. Alex liked that pick. Okay, I see you. Shout out to the 390 people in here. I appreciate y'all. I mean, people like yeah, even, but like this isn't just for like this season. Like this right. is for longevity. Next three, four, like the this is the Bucky's future. Be Thirty years old this year. How like, much? How much does Ballot preach future? Yeah, look, Sarah's y'all getting mad. Chat. She knows. I agree. Hey, Sarah. I so say we're picking right at the top of round four as well. Yes, we are. Right after the Panthers. Kenley Jackson went to the Rams. Not bad, Rams. Not bad. I like that pick. Spencer Rattler. I throw my keyboard. Absolutely. Oh, you know I'm not doing this. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. So let's go to all us. Ooh, we got Jeremiah Charter Jr. in here, Landon. We do. We do. We appreciate we you. A, we take a linebacker. Yes. And in in this well, is good, still so early. Ready for SmackDown here in a few minutes. Just started. Absolutely. Ready for oh, yeah. We got to hurry up. Uh, Dominique Pooney. That's a guy that I love at offensive guard. Um, and he's still. So either, I, I will go either or. He's so I would take Pooney here. He's we anything but one. Pooney. Look, look at how big this dude is. His last name is Pooney. He's not Pooney, but 303 pounds is 6'5". Big dude, and he can move. He can play all finisher. five spots. I mean, he's going to come in immediately, be really good depth. Yeah, we got center in the last one, uh, Sarah. Are we going puny? I would, yeah. I mean, we just spent three picks in a row on defense. Yeah, we so, did. I mean, eventually, we did. this is not a defensive draft, even though we do need. I mean, it, I mean, it will be, but I think offensive, like you always want to try to get at least one, one. offensive lineman in yeah. every draft. 
Especially since he's here too. We don't know yeah. what it might look like later. Yeah. I respect that. He's he's definitely like there's there's a big difference. So Ooh, I'm sorry, Alex. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. And I mean if it's anything like this other one. Ooh, Landon. Well, Carter went to the Titans. Oh, that's all right. He'll be okay. <laughs> oh, the Ravens traded with the Eagles. So now let's go back to corner. See, I like I like Hunt a lot. Let's go back to cornerback here now. Kyrie Jackson's here. Kyrie Jackson's available. Or I wonder if it's like the other one. Is Jerry and Jones <laughs> by any chance still there? I don't think no, so. I don't see I him. I didn't see him get picked, but he was there in the fourth round last time. Oh, yeah. He went to the Chargers. Okay. So Kyrie Jackson. Cam Hart went to the Cardinals. Good, that would be a good pickup. I right. think Kyrie Jackson could be good. Yes. 6'3. Six, six, three. Three. Yeah. Let's, let's go, let's Kyrie, three. here. We do. We got Max Melton, but we do need another. We do corner. need another corner. Yes. And we still got more picks, y'all. We got we got three more. Do got Shout out to pick. Landon. My heart rate's back at normal. See, we're good. Ooh, Luke McCaffrey. Jordan Travis. I like Jordan Travis. That one next year's draft. Oh yeah, three first round picks and two. Right, seven. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like at first, I was like, "Landed." <laughs> it was funny though. It was trust, like, Ooh, Javon Baker. Trust the process. Trust the process. I got wing stop on the way. I got hey. smackdown starting. And the lay up the smackdown on the wings. We're in for a good. So yesterday. You didn't know. Yesterday was my birthday. Oh, Landon! You didn't I, tell me. I keep I keep all that stuff on the DL. Now, I, you know, there's some things you can text me and I won't say in public. I know. That's all right, though. I mean, I'm not in the business of telling people when my birthday is. But my <sighs> wife got me. Oh, I got that, too. Yeah, that was my birthday present from my Let's wife. Let's go. Um, that game is so fun. Thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate it. Right. Getting on one step closer to 40. It's on its <laughs> it's on the horizon. I can feel it every day I wake up. The Joe Flacco of the Blue Stable. Oh, brutal. I am actually. I'm I'm pretty pretty close to the same age as Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, me and Joe Flacco would have went to high school together if that's it. Oh, oh Zach Zinter is still here. Zach Zenter still there. Jaheim Bell from Florida State still there. If you want another weapon, let's take a look at the. Well, let's take a look at. You just hit forty last year. Yeah, it's it's crazy to think it. I mean, it come it goes so quick. Yeah, it goes so very quick. So let's see here. Tyke Smith's still there. Let's check on offense. Let's see what we we have on offense. See, I like I like Tanner, but I mean we just we just drafted a guard. We don't need Lisa McCormick is good. Lemur is good. Is Isaac Guerrero from Louisville that blew up the combine? Went absolutely mm -hmm. bananas. You know, um, you know, battle like those. Yeah, I I think that could be a really good pick here. Yeah, we got a running back last time, didn't we? We did. Yeah, so I think we can go running back here. I wouldn't be mad. And it's either, I mean, the fifth round, that's generally where I kind of yeah. like to target running backs if I take right. him. Okay, Alex liked that. Uh, he likes the Isaac pick. Yeah, so let's let's go ahead and throw let's it. Let's get in. the combine buster. Let's throw him in there. Throw him in there. Shout out to Louisville. No. That's the ticket? No. Okay, they like that pick. They like that pick, Landon. Yeah, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. 
There we okay. go. Yeah. They're liking your philosophy. They're liking your yeah. philosophy. They're, they're liking my draft this time. <laughs> I'm coming around. Everybody loves it. my draft this time. <laughs> Whenever I'm actually like not just dicking around. Messing around with your friends. Right? My, That's yeah, crazy. Messing around with my two best friends on our That's own crazy, team. man. That's social media for you. Where we're just joking around. It's that's what I'm saying. It's like we do that show because I don't have to be buck, you know, buttoned up, suit right. and tie. I don't have to yeah. be serious. I can say whatever I want. I can mm-hmm. have fun with my buddies, and that's it. And people get so bent out of shape. But like, it, I'm not going to give you the same analysis here that I give you there. I mean, like, I, I got to have separate, you know. Here, I, I mean, as, like, I like this because it provides me an avenue to like talk like real football and scheme and like all all that kind of all that kind of stuff. Right. Yes, I am going, uh, Sarah. Me, Johnny, and Noah are going to be there. We just uh, finished the process this morning. We will be in Detroit. We do need an edge, and I think I have the perfect edge. I'll be live when I go down there um, on draft day, so you guys just tune in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. My road dog won't be with me this time, but it's okay. I'll, I'll leave the seat open for him and Andrew. Ooh, Gabe Hall, that was going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. Back to back pick for the Texans. Here we go. All right. All right. So going let's right go. There. Miles Cole still right there on the hey. board, baby. I think Camara as well could be a good one. Let's yeah. let's see what his RAS looks like. Uh, it's not the sevens. I don't know. Now let's look at Miles Cole's RAS. Yay! Look at that. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. My goodness. We going Miles Cole, right? I think that would be a uh, Ballard pick. That would be a Ballard pick. He's he's very Dio, a Dangbo kind of like he's very raw, like very mm-hmm. very raw. But he's got the physical tools. Yeah, we know Alex. We know we're gonna go Miles Cole's here. Miles Cole, shout out to Miles Cole. And we got one more pick after that. Josh Proctor went to the Steelers. Oh, Muhammad went to the Falcons. Not bad. I like Brennan Jackson, too. I think Jackson's a good player. Just went to Miami. Shout out to Notre Dame. I mean, if everybody, like, I mean, if we knew that Kamara's a 10-sack-a-year guy, he would be going a lot higher. He would have went early first, yeah. Would have went early first. I mean, that's the thing with the draft is like nobody knows. So whenever you get down here, late fifth, Special sixth, teams seventh round, well, no, I mean like you bet on athletic traits. That's that's where like that's where like my philosophy with Ballard. I think early on, I think the first couple rounds, you you need to have production. Mm-hmm. Like you have to have production to go along with the athletic traits, which I think is where his philosophy kind of falters is because he's just athletic traits um but once you start getting in like fifth sixth seventh round guys i'm purely looking like guys like ulo fashio you know that just went right there i'm just purely looking at guys that you know can play special teams have a chance to make the roster and you let the their coaches develop. Dang it. You know, Bengals took Jaquan Jackson from me. I like Vaki as well. Cone Vaki. Shout out to Utah. Utah. Mm-hmm. Up, he's gone to the Ravens. <laughs> the Ravens. That's a Ravens pick. Freaking Ravens. Mark Perry is still here. 
What do you say we look at another weapon? Ooh, I like the way you think. We look at another water receiver here. Club means we'll go crazy on social media. I'm just saying. I think Cephas could be interesting for sure. If you, if you check out his profile, um, he's another guy. He doesn't have like the insane. He's he's more of like a production type of guy. Mm. It's a smaller school, UTSA. Yep. Got old Xavier Weaver out of Colorado with Dion. Mm -hmm. He's there. He got a nice ride score too. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Better than uh, Cephas. Yeah, these are there's a lot of undrafted Practice free squad. Yep. Yeah. So let's look. So we don't need a running back now. Hey. Eh. <laughs> let's let's see what we got here. Ryan Watts. I don't know. I, I do. I, I like Cephas here. Cephas? I right, said so we can go anybody here, so I'll go Cam Little if I want it. He's more of like a you – know, like I said, he's a, he doesn't have like the high athleticism, but like good route runner, really good mm -hmm. production. I think he's – He's more explosive, like in the short area. Um, like he's not going to be like a burner, but he's more of like a. Um, who's a really good guy to compare him to? Who Who is the guy that that the Colts had a couple years ago? I can't think of him off the top of my head. Well, we did not get a linebacker. We didn't, but I don't think there's any linebackers here. That... Yeah, I don't well, think so. I mean, hey, let's let's look, let's look at. When you get like this, like I said, let's look at RAS scoring linebackers. Let's see what we have. Look at Kalen Deloach out of Florida State. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. About Luke Reimer. Jesus Christ. Wow. That's. <laughs> I think I'm more athletic than that guy. I see what? I said what? <laughs> That had to be some kind of injury or something. What is what's Darius looking like? Last time we drafted a linebacker, you know, named Darius, we had a good. He's a lot more athletic than that guy. Yeah, I don't really see any linebackers here. I think they could pick up a um, undrafted free agent linebacker. Quan Shepard's still here. Yeah, it's either Gould or uh, Gould or Cephas. I I like Cephas better. Yeah, Gould would be more special teams than actual receiver, in my well, opinion. Well, Cephas would be too, but Cephas I think has more like receiver skill. It's like he's a right. really good runner, strong hands, good production. I'm trying to remember who we had a few years. Who was like wide receiver three a couple years ago? Which which quarterback era? <laughs> it was like Carson Wentz. Um, I'll have to look it up. It's going to drive me nuts. I'm just blanking because I've got stuff going on here. Um, Zach Pascal. Ah. He's, he's a very much like a Zach Pascal type of. I like Pascal too. Pascal didn't get his, enough flowers while he was here. No. And that's that's kind of, he's like a very similar guy to Zach Pascal. You got hands? He does have hands. Okay. 
We could take him just in case if we do need another short receiver. Oh no, he's six two. That's what I'm saying. He's he's like how Pascal was. Let's take him. It's seventh round. He'll be our Michael Strong pick. Yeah. Where is Michael Strong? I don't know. Practice squad somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Carolina Panthers. Oh, I didn't check uh, Crumb's rise. Sorry. Just seen that. My bad. You met Bobby Lashley? Hey. I've met a lot of guys. So, like, I actually, uh, if you know who Ricochet is, um, mm-hmm. he's actually from my hometown. We're around the same age. We went to different high schools, but we hang out with a lot of the same people. Um, I've met him quite a few times. He's a good dude. I've met – well, I've met a lot of pro wrestlers. We went – I've been to two different WrestleManias. Um, the last one we went to was the one in Dallas. And uh, we went to WrestleCon. And I got to meet, you know, like Mean Gene Okerlund, DDP, Shawn Michaels, um, JR. Jim Ross, I got to meet all kinds of people. Um, it was really cool. All right, so there we have it. You yeah. think that's enough for today? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good. <laughs> I think this was better that's, than the last one. It's a honestly. pretty good haul. For yeah. Sure. My heart was racing, but I think this was a good, a good overall, overall draft. No Bowers, but we still got Melton in the uh, AD, so. And Javon. <laughs> you got two first-round picks next year. <laughs> right. So, it's nothing wrong with that. I, I think we did pretty solid on this one. Uh, Washington um, and Seattle, I don't think anyone's kind of confusing them for right. for being elite teams. Like, those are possibly two top ten picks right there. Washington's could possibly be top five. Who would be 2025 picks? I wonder in this draft, both first and second. Yeah, we we got two first picks coming around next. Wait, we got Seattle's first, Washington first, and our first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're gonna go. Yeah, gonna go crazy. Ballard's gonna get a contract extension if he get all those picks next year. <laughs> well, to be fair, he would trade down. Right. Picks next year too. So. Yeah, I think I think we did pretty solid. Um, you guys stay tuned. Follow us on all our platforms. But we will be dra- live on draft day. Um, so you guys stay tuned for that. I know you guys are excited for the draft like we are. Um, uh, but like I said, I will be down there with Noah and Johnny. Unfortunately, my my road dog Landon will not be there, but it's okay. Are you going um, to the draft? Yes. I'm going to Detroit. Detroit. Basketball. Football, sorry. No, nah, I'm not a not a fan. Motor it's City, crazy. rev your engines. Yeah, I will be there. But we appreciate you guys for tuning in uh, for this mock draft simulator. We hope you guys enjoy SmackDown. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your night. Um, get some ice cream if you haven't anyway. If you are lactose intolerant, I suggest you butter up and still eat some ice cream. But enjoy your night after that. But we appreciate you guys for tuning in. Go Colts. Um, let us know in the comment section who would who would you draft? Would you trade up? Would you try to trade down? Um, all these things in the comment section if you're watching this post stream. But we appreciate you guys, and we are out. <laughs>